Sorry for the wait. Coming to you live from Times Square. Nothing to tell. <laughs> Something good. My father was a piano player, a great one. He rarely ever played outside of the house, but even when he was playing, he was on. Because he wasn't playing, he was, he was practicing. I don't think I ever heard him just, just play for fun and joy. This isn't easy. I don't really know anything about him. He never told us stories or talked about anything he was into. He worked, practiced, watched a hockey game, fixed shit in the basement. I used to listen to him practice these ridiculous classical pieces. It was amazing, Mozart, Bach, mostly Italian concerto and F major. I've heard this a thousand times. We start with Allegro, very proper. Picture bouncing puppets. I had all these crazy images attached to this plan. Then, as if we've descended into a dark, misty forest, we move into Andante. So soft, delicate. But he was always so focused, as if getting the notes right was more important than how they filled the room. It was clinical. I could see dancers alone in the forest. So you're exposed to this magical sound, so full of imagery and this man, larger than life, is playing it. This man, you can't help but literally look up to, is creating this beautiful sound. And not once does he take the time to invite you in, to explain what the notes mean. And if you interrupted him, look out. Growing up, you, you tower over us. We end with Presto. So many notes so fast. One hand chasing, chasing the other, and he would play these small sections over and over, completely focused, again and again. He would spend hours on three or four bars, over and over, over and over. These big hands making this incredible sound. It's the only classical I know. And even that, I'm packing my way through. Not like him. He was clean. He could focus on something and not let go until it was done. I don't feel anything. Not for him, not for Sylvie. I've been a wrecking ball. You know what I discovered today? I've never given up my weight. 